right. <laughs> okay. My goodness. Okay, so the universe is telling me not to stream again tonight. So I guess I'll tell you guys a story. Hold on, let me do just chatting. Let me change the name of my thingy thingy. so much <laughs> I, I i have a story time let me change this because it's just like i've never had this hold on never had this much trouble i guess it's just not meant to be today and plus my face is itching like whatever bit me right here is killing me hopefully um There we go. I'm gonna tell you guys a story time since it's just it's just not meant to be. <laughs> Luckily for me, I do have plenty of stories to tell you guys. Starting with, hold on, let me think of something because I got plenty of things. There we go. Let me clear this out and then turn it on. But if you are new here, welcome. I'm the Big Game Chicks, and I attempted to stream several times tonight. It did not. It did not want to work. Shout out to Dizzy Des 2022 for scaring the bejeebies out of me because I have no more. Um, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys a story about. Uh, I think the last thing somebody asked me about was the people of Walmart, and I do believe I did um, a story time on the people of Walmart. And I think the next, one of the next, um, one of the next things people asked me was uh, story time of Hooters, but that's not necessarily, I don't have any paranormal stories from Hooters that I remember. And for those of you that don't know, I am a former Hooters girl, Hooters of Jackson, that's no longer in business. They are no longer there. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know when they closed down. I just know I worked there for a few years. I was a bartender and a Hooters girl. And it was one of the funnest jobs I ever had. However, uh, I decided to just stop working there because business had gotten like really, really slow. And I was losing money going to like putting gas in my car, going to work. And I was like, ugh. So I ended up just finding like a, a regular nine to five. And eventually that, that location closed. Oh my gosh, this itches so much. But um, let me get my, hold on. Let me get my, uh, what do you call that thing? My dream journal. And I'll read y'all one of my crazy dreams from there. Hopefully I didn't make y'all wait too long. This is my old dream journal. I finally filled it to capacity. And this is my new one. Now this one, I was complaining that it was too big. It's too wide. You see how big it is compared to this one? Yes. This one actually helps me out because I'm a lefty and lefties are... Um yeah we do everything but this one is completely full of all of hold on of all of the dreams i've had for the last i want to say year or so and okay this recent dream i had i don't know if anybody has played uh god of war the new god of war that just came out like november 9th um it kind of goes with that a little bit but if I if I tell you about the dream, it might spoil the game a little bit. So let me see if I have another one. Let's see. I saw someone. If I had 
kind of my bag, blah, blah, blah. Um, I was in some kind of school. All right, so far, I'm like, don't talk about my handwriting, y'all. So far, I'm a little in here. And I'm only like five or six pages in so far. But normally all my dreams take like a page or two to write. Um, okay, here's the last one I did. I walked into an auditorium where there was some kind of Star, Star Trek reunion. Now, shout out to the people that watch Star Trek. I don't know anything about Star Trek. I remember there was a lot of them on TV when I was growing up. I didn't watch any of them. I can't tell you anybody except freaking data and uh spock and the guy with the <laughs> the thing on his eye those are the only three i really know as far as everybody else on um oh and the the guy with the wrinkle forehead the klingons other than that i don't know anything about star trek somebody asked me to pick between star trek and star wars and I would say Harry Potter, honestly. <laughs> don't 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 beat me up. Okay, so there was a Star Trek reunion, and when I got on stage, everybody was sitting down like in the dark. The whole auditorium was dark, and everybody was sitting down on the stage. And uh, a person announced to me that the uh, original cast members sat on the left, and everybody else sat on the right. Now, because I was not a part of the show, I sat on the right because I apparently I was an extra in one of the shows. Now, this is a dream, you guys. Um, I sat on the right. And then she said, you know, the people that are original cast members, their trip is going to take three hours less than everybody else's trip. I don't know what she meant by that, but I was like, okay. So, uh... I guess everybody was like watching a screen or something above and it was playing like the episodes and I was I remember looking up because everybody was sitting on the stage like little kids like crisscross applesauce and stuff like that and I remember looking up at the screen watching one of the episodes and I told I, it says I told the person next to me that I was just an extra on one of the episodes and he just nodded don't know who the guy was and so I ended up leaving from there and getting to like a, a maybe like a dock area and on this dock area it was literally like a what do you call it uh, a shopping center but instead of it being like a parking lot the parking lot area was like a boat dock and I was looking at this guy he was rolling a crank and on the crank was this like sheet of meat if that makes any sense it was like flattened meat that he was rolling into like a uh i guess a spool or something and let me see what else it says he was rolling it onto a roller um so i walked into his shop and on the counter in his shop there were a lot of like empty bottles on the counter and there uh were two guys that came okay so i remember i noticed that there was a man behind his counter that did not belong there and uh i remember walking up to the counter and then ducking underneath so i can only see the man if i looked up and the man was looking at two other guys that came in in suits and they were all talking. I'm guessing it was some kind of situation happening where it was like a guy, I guess the owner outside doing the rolling, owed these people money or something. And I'm just, you know, being nosy in this shop. Let's see what it says. Two guys came in and hooked up a cart and the cart had roll oh it had stacks of like hams on it and they pull the cart out and let 
the uh, the guy behind the counter seems to be really disappointed in the butcher and I guess the butcher had another employee come in hi welcome back <laughs> thank you so much for the bits I appreciate it um like I said I'm doing a story time right now and it's not gonna crash this time because I'm doing a story I don't know what's going on with you know my switch it's a brand new switch it's the OLED it's this thing right here it just does not want to act right today so um I restarted my computer and everything and it still crashed so it's telling me that it's something going on over there so I'm telling the story time about uh, one of the dreams I had okay long story short um, so there's a butcher outside rolling meat these two weird guys come into the butcher shop and roll out his cart of hams or whatever type of meat it was I'm ducked underneath the front counter looking at this weird dude at the counter but he's behind the counter and there's a third guy that comes in he's a smaller guy I guess he works with the butcher and he's shocked like what are you guys doing here not me because I'm still hiding um and the guy behind the counter says it's you and he takes the bottle the empty bottles that's on the counter and starts throwing it at the, the the young guy and as they explode it's like this big old weird long, oblong bubble comes out and the, the the younger guy is like oh my god and he grabs my arm and pulls me out and when that bubble pop pops you guys it explodes the whole area and i'm over here thinking oh ah! okay let me see what else it says yeah the butcher's assistant a young man from the uh i don't even know what i wrote there from this CEO. i don't know what that is he walks in the villain behind the counter throws one of the bottles at him and it explodes on the floor creating an oblong snake-like bubble the young man avoids it narrowly while grabbing my hand to escape and we leave yeah that was the last dream i have i can interpret other people's dreams i cannot interpret my own so it looks like if i try to interpret my own dream excuse me if i try to interpret my own dream it basically looks like i avoided some type of disaster i can I, if that's true then I already know what type of disaster it was. And so I'm actually happy that I avoided the disaster. I hope you guys had a very good, um, I guess, holiday. I don't celebrate the holiday. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with not celebrating the holiday. But, you know, everybody else that does, I hope you enjoyed it and everybody was safe, came through peacefully or whatever. I, I'm actually happy I did not celebrate because... This year I've I've chosen peace. And when you choose peace and you remain in the peace, everything else flows with you. So I am going to enjoy the rest of this time being like in my element because it's birthday season. Now my birthday is not until next month, but still I, I feel the love of the universe. And um my husband, I don't know if you guys saw, but I'm probably going to delete the other streams I had tonight. My husband brought me this cute little chain, and I am just ecstatic about it. There we go. It's a little Sasuke, and he's got like a little egg. And my, um, my husband, he's got one. I don't know where he put his on the other side of the room where I don't really feel like walking way over there. But his is Naruto. And his little charm is a little Naruto, which is the cutest thing ever. But I was going to wear it with uh, what I have on. But the chain is so long, there's just no point. You wouldn't be able to see it. So let me read y'all another dream I had. This one was from a few days ago. I actually had two dreams. And when I have dreams, it's like I'll wake up from one not all the way wake up but i'll end up going back to sleep 
and popping into a, a second dream. Hold on. All right. All right, let's see. Speaking of, it says here that I don't remember my first dream. Uh, the only thing I really remember from it is going to the mailbox and getting a letter from Hooters of all places. Now, normally if you dream of a certain area or a place, that means that area or place is where you seem to have the best type of memories or a place that you felt safe. Like for me, my childhood home was a, a yellow house and it had a red front door. Now I've had several dreams at this childhood home. Of course, it does not look like this anymore because somebody else moved in and destroyed the place. But um, a lot of my dreams happen either in the front yard of this house or in the front room of this house. Another place that I have recurring dreams is at my grandmother's house because I spent a lot of time at my grandmother's house growing up and it would either be a certain room in her house or in her front yard which is or, or her backyard which is where I spent the majority of my childhood playing. Um, let's see this the second part of the dream I had I was in a grocery store and I was watching a girl push a bunch of boxes and she stopped and asked me if I had a tail comb. Now a tail comb for those of y'all that don't know, do I have one in here? I'll be right back. All right, for those of y'all that do not know what a tail comb is, this is a tail comb. It has a tail on it. It's a regular comb. She asked me if I had one of these. Uh, I have several different types of these, but she asked me for one of these and let's see, I go into my bag and see, let's see and see strange ones. They look, they look weird to me. And as I get them out of the bag, I realize that they're in poor shape. Now the ones that I have you know I would expect to give her something that looks like this but all the ones that I seem to be pulling out of the bag they look dirty or broken or just plain just un not something that I would want to give to someone else um let's see I realize that they're in poor shape like tape dirty or full of someone else's hair I get upset about it she doesn't seem to notice any of this and takes one excited. So I'm confused. I walk over, I walk over to a stand that has all green fruits and veggies, which is celery, broccoli, lettuce, kiwis, lime. 